coming up in this Brightline Construction Update. This update looks at the process of unloading a rail train. The train was being unloaded in Gifford, which is just north of Vero Beach Regional Airport. I caught up with the train as it was shoving south to its next location. The train was just over halfway done being unloaded at this point. This was the 20th and final rail train needed for the work double tracking the Florida East Coast Railway corridor. The power on the train was FEC GP40-2 number 416. The train was coming here, just south of the 41st Street crossing on the Gifford siding to prepare for the final drop of the day. The rear car on the train is the threading car. It has guides and winches that pull the strings of continuous welded rail off of the car and then guide them to the side of the train. Here's the start of the threader car pulling the rail off of the train. The crew operating the car is inside the protective cage on the back in case the cable were to snap.
They were preparing to do a double drop, so rails were pulled on both sides of the train. All of the rail on the train was 1 to 36 pound rail, with each piece being 1600 feet long. The train is capable of carrying 50 pieces of rail at a time. Once the pieces of rail are pulled to the back of the threader car, they will be hooked to the loader behind the train, which acts as an anchor while the train pulls forward and turn pulling the rail off the train. With the rail pulled back, the train moved forward to the 41st Street crossing to actually unload the rail between that crossing and the 45th Street crossing. The ties and rail staged here are for the future C.P. Gifford crossover that will be here. Unfortunately, these trees and old ramp blocked the view of the crew hooking the rail up to that loader. Once they were hooked up, the train started moving forward slowly. dropping next to the tracks here. the existing Gifford siding track up to the new mainline standard since it will become part of the new second mainline. You can see the end of the rail drop to the ground here. With that drop completed, the train headed north to tie down for the night. I caught it crossing the new Sebastian River Bridge.
There are speed restrictions when the train goes around curves and through turnouts, and it was doing both here with the CP Miko crossover around the curve, which is why it slowed down going across the bridge. While we are here, here's a quick update on the bridge construction progress. The first track of the new bridge was completed in April and has been in use since. All of the rail has been removed from the old bridge now. Work is currently focused on demolishing the south end of the old bridge and beginning to install pilings for the first few piers on that end as well. As an added bonus, here's some video from another rail train I caught back in January but never got around to editing. This is crossing Vieira Boulevard in Vieira.
The cars on this train are owned by a different company than the one I showed earlier, and the threading equipment is different, but still works in the same general manner. And here it is, crossing the Crane Creek Bridge in Melbourne. This was from before the new bridge was put into service, so it is still using the old bridge here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, check out my social media pages.